Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 43. Now this week we're going to take a break from all things statistical and we're going to get back to basics by looking at some good old fashioned graph work on autograph, starting with quadratics. Now there are quite a few ways you can teach the topic of quadratics on autograph um, and the first is a classic way of getting students to come up with tables of values and points that line quadratic curves just to check that they can draw them and plot them. So for example if students were drawing something uh, boring like y equals x squared minus 1 the, hopefully when they've uh, worked out the table of values they may come up with some points such as 0 minus 1 which you can get the scribble tool and get them to put a little ring around and uh, what else is on that curve and um, so you've got when x is 1 y is 0 so hopefully that'll be there when x is 2 y is 3 I hope my math is right here another point there maybe and another point there and once they've come up and pop those points on very nicely whiz on a bit of slow plot mode and then get autograph to check it so um, enter equation you can either hit enter or click on the button there y equals x squared little tip if you want to do x squared just hit x twice x squared minus one click ok cross your fingers and as the little turtle is about to appear fingers crossed you will go through all of those points nice so that's a nice simple way that, and you obviously you can do that with any graph getting students to come up and plot the points and then just check whether um, autograph agrees with you so that's quite nice um, I'm just going to uh, select everything and just hit delete on my keyboard so I have a clear screen um, but nicer than that you can get the old constant controller coming into play so once the students get to the point where they can factorize quadratics it's quite nice to relate the factorization to the graph itself so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to enter myself an equation and I'm going to put y equals and I'm going to go for a bit of x minus a close the brackets and I'm going to go for a bit of x minus b and I'm going to close the brackets now before you do anything on autograph anytime you have any kind of constants in it's always a good idea to set them to a value when nothing changes so if we've been talking about the graph of y equals x squared it's nice to put those constants to a value of zero so we're still going to get the graph of y equals x squared otherwise things just seem to magically happen um, in front of the student's eyes without the understanding so let's leave a and b at zero click ok and fingers crossed we should get our graph of y equals x squared I've left me slow plot on so I'll just click that just to speed up the process and there it is and now what I can do is I can click on that graph click on my text box there uh, click OK and that's going to keep track of the current values of the constants for me I'm also going to get my constant controller um, and now I can manipulate things and I can say to the students okay if I set my equation sorry set my value of a to 1 what's going to happen to my graph and once they've figured it out and only once they've figured it out or made some predictions then I can start manipulating things so if I increase the value of a to 1 the graph seems to suddenly go through 1 0 now what happens if I put my value of b say to minus 1 well now the graph still goes to 1 0 but now it also goes to minus 1 0 and again I can now once the students have got the hang of it and making predictions I can now shift things around and I can see what happens to my graph as I do things so when a is 0 and b is minus 2 I get through those points and so on and that's a quite nice thing to do um, you can also do a third um, kind of version of this if I just double click here we can do the classic completing the square version so if I go for y equals x minus a squared and I add on b and again I'm just going to check my constants first because I don't want anything changing that I don't want to so a is going to stay at 0 and I'm going to put b at 0 so again I should get my y equals x squared graph and now again I can experiment with what happens when I alter those constants always getting the students to predict so if I increase the value of a the graph seems to move to the right and vice versa if I decrease and if I increase the value of b it moves up and decrease it moves down so get the students to experiment with that and um, we are going to do a specific video on transformation transforming graphs next week with a bit of f of x so uh, get ready for that one but to finish with the final thing you can do with quadratics and this is really nice is to do it through points so if I just plop on a couple of points here I'll have one there one there and one there I can almost do like a quadratic of best fit just through those uh, points so if I select them all and I right click and I go for quadratic then I get a lovely quadratic through there but the best of all is I can manipulate things I can pull that down I can pull that down I can pull that down and if I want to know the equation of it if I just make sure it's selected and double click there then I get my equation of my quadratic and that will change as I move things I'm out of time I shall see you next week bye for now